Hey everyone, it's Dave here, and today we'll be checking out the last call update from Tales from the Galaxy's Edge. About damn time we're receiving this, holy hell. Like Star Wars and Jurassic are those games that are being pushed to just be a full releases, because it is such a big franchise that it's just exciting to get immersed in those universes. Let's get on with the trailer because there's like a lot to unpack. First of all, and it's quite shocking to me looking at it, it doesn't seem like the same game at all. Like essentially I thought it's gonna be like, you know, couple tales and stuff. This is surely a whole new campaign, and comparing to the playthrough we've done on the channel, this seems much longer in terms of content. Like the whole trailer is scheduled for 3 minutes so there's so much new footage that it's even hard to convey it in one video. I do see some new puzzles definitely, new enemies, new storyline, new like a boss fight. Then on top of this new campaign we're gonna have yet another tale with force powers this time rather than lightsaber action. Quite honestly I was hoping some of the mechanics would be transferred to the main game because essentially that was the most fun I've had there. But I don't know if it's design choice or it's just limitations of open worldish kind of scenario. Essentially Vader in Mortal was like a scripted experience where certain mechanics could work but maybe it's just hard to implement various interactions in the open space, who knows. My knowledge of Star Wars and just the universe is literally trash, like I don't know any names, I don't know any history, this seems to be a bounty hunter storyline and we're gonna be chasing assassins and first order. Nothing that's really familiar with me, that's why I'm saying this is a whole new game, because it's not linked to anything that we experienced so far. I suppose it's also a safe bet from ILMX Lab because it creates opportunities for the future to create more campaigns campaigns not being tied together and released as a separate DLCs to have a lot of independent content in the game. Interestingly enough, like the whole trailer doesn't show the $10 price point at all, I guess now we're getting our money worth because this seems way bigger thing that we got in the first place. I suppose the first video from this update will be some sort of an introduction and where do we essentially start everything? I guess everything again will be getting in the cantina and then we'll get like a new map because the previous one was filled and the new locations won't be there for sure. Also I wonder how it correlates with people who did not complete the first campaign because essentially you have to reach the cantina first to unlock other things progressing throughout the game unless we're gonna be introduced on a new path in the main menu will resolve itself at the end of the day but this just seems way more exciting than we expected honestly let's jump back to star wars Ooh, a new environment at night i mean so technically nothing different <laughs> hello dude were you here before wait i can't click on the button what's new okay well then we'll just play <laughs> fuck is happening <laughs> She's like, what's going on? Cade? Cade, it's you! Come here! Whew. Okay, you just missed it. There was this huge boom, and then everybody was like, ah, oh, no! Whoa, she jumps out the window. I have no idea what's going on, but by the smoking hole in that corpse, I think you can tell where oh. we are right about now. And look at this. This puck flew out of his hand when he got... Yep, that's her. We're gonna draw that one. And that fella on the wrong end of the blaster was a bounty hunter. <sighs> His outpost never ceases to amaze. Now I called you in for something, I think, was it? Oh, yeah. All right, here's the deal. Doc Ondor's the outpost's relic wheeler deal. And he's looking for someone to, uh, collect something for him. It's real dangerous. Other people are after it. You might die. Sounds fun, right? Yeah. Anyway, Doc said he would stop by and size you up. See if you're good for the work. Whatever you do, do not end up on Doc's list. Don't talk about the shape of his head. Don't ask him which mouth he eats with, because that is very rude. And certainly don't get him started on Otegans. <laughs> I speak from experience when I say that, because I did it once. And if anybody... <laughs> Hello? Him. Hey, Doc, how about those Otakens, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna get to the droid. my rule right out of the gate. He's all yours, good luck. <laughs> Thanks. So cute with a hat. So, um, what's going on here? <laughs> oh, I didn't know we had a DJ podium here. <laughs> well. Doc, what's going on? Slack, there's your skilled droid technician. He thinks very highly of you. My favor will not be as easily hurt. I find myself in need of a pair of capable hands. Hands that will be well paid. 
I arranged to meet here because my shop is being watched. And no one ever comes to this cut race, well hole. <laughs> this is your objective, but not the item itself. I believe an old rival of mine carved a cipher into the piece. The cipher hides the combination to an ancient Jedi vault located here on Batu. Scan the piece for me, and I'll take it from there. This is a private matter between us. Understand? Some nasty elements have recently arrived on world. Insanely, even for Black Spire outposts. This data pad contains the location of big stashes. Good hunting. Now, if you don't mind. Yeah, read your newspaper, dude. So where is it? Like, do we have a new map or something? Oh wait, Cavern of the Moons and Lost Jedi Ruins. So it's essentially the same map, it's just updated by few locations. Fury of the First Order is waiting for the next objective. All the three tiles were included in this update. Okay. Why it says I have to complete the Temple of Darkness one is done here, clearly. <laughs> I guess we won't mind with tiles for now. Let's just focus on the main campaign and then we'll go from there. So travel to Sar Divine Chasm, okay. Yes. The rival I spoke of somehow discovered the vault's combination and buried it in that cipher. Luckily, his arrogance prevented him from taking the secret to his grave. He's not dead by my hand. Though I may have considered it once or twice, but... We had a history, Deke and I. We planned on being partners. Many, many years ago now. Company right away. Remember? Yeah, I had a jetpack. Well, I can move with a jetpack now. Oh, that's nice. Oh shit, my asshole! <laughs> Be more aware of your surroundings. Medic! I think healing was... Oh, not available for me. <laughs> I'm flying, big. I don't remember how to... Oh, wait a minute. I had... Yeah, this. Okay, we Gucci. Where do we go? can at least just fly there. Badass. Who are you? What the? <laughs> oh, you don't see me? Ow! <laughs> You broke my headset. Oh wait. 
I was dashing. Oh, what the hell? What the? <laughs> I think this is like a new movement. I can like dodge bullets now with this fucking fantastic. When I thought this game won't get <laughs> more tactical. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Have to get a hold of it. <laughs> I'm not venting. I have dual building, so venting is not necessarily for me. I guess there. Shit! <laughs> what the? <laughs> I respawned so awkwardly here. I don't know if I have to still gather this. This was for Tails mostly. Have you reached Deep Camp yet? My ears report pirate activity in the area. Likely trying to pick up any scraps missed by the Baron. Really? I didn't know this. I love that we can now fly and move. That was really annoying if you're just in one place and can't move at all. <laughs> And dashing, holy hell. <laughs> yes. I'm not asking. Constrict around me. In fact, they're here! Help me! 
I suppose he's truly gone. In that case, continue your search. Some things are best left buried. I've hidden the key, possibly forever. Only Doc might suspect the cipher, which... a calculated risk. <sighs> he feared I might sell the relic. Can you believe the nerve? This is like the villain cry now. That was where it rested. But they've taken it. The piece that hides the key. Ugh, get moving. Damn it, it's there. I think it's time to have droids. Good old times. Okay, well, they already started. <laughs> it's a crazy man up top there. Hey! <laughs> no! <laughs> Retake this turret. <laughs> Where are my droids? <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> no 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 no! Sneaky bitch! Okay, now you come. Oh wow, okay. I guess we destroy this then. <laughs> Shoot the engines! Okay. Yeah, why not? <laughs> These alley rats are trying to steal the beef we need. Stop there! Come back to the cantina for your payment. 
Yo! We'll get back in the next video though. But so far so good. I feel like there were some changes after my playthrough that I did not discover. But this hover pack just movement is flawless decision to me. Like now I can just land stuff. This is the actual Star Wars experience I want to have. <laughs> I'm still missing the lightsaber though. That's left for the tails. But it's so good to be back. I'm excited for the new content. It will arrive eventually. But till next time. <laughs>